I'm a crush it. Call me. Um, in this episode, we're coming to you in the sky um, above the point. Yeah, uh, we're with Pittsburgh paragliding uh, during parasailing. And we'll have more on that a little bit later. Unsung has the juice this issue as we meet Juice 412 working for Pittsburgh's health and wellness, one cup at a time. We also talk to and take a ride with an organization doing parasailing from the point, Pittsburgh Paragliding. And as it's 9-11, before we get started, Unsung would like to observe a moment of silence in honor of those that lost their lives 12 years ago and for our first responders everywhere that risked their lives. If you would like to get involved, Unsung invites you to check out the Feel Good Foundation at www.fealgoodfoundation.com. As always, let's take a look at what's happening with our area nonprofit. Feeding America has declared September as Hunger Action Month to focus attention on nearly 50 million people in this country who are food insecure. That means they are unable to reliably provide enough food for themselves or their families. That's one in six Americans. The need in this country is tremendous, but so is the impact that you can have. Please consider taking at least one personal action to fight hunger during September. You can volunteer, make a donation, hold a food drive, or just learn about hunger. For ideas, check out the Greater Pittsburgh Area Food Bank's 30 for 30 calendar at the address on your screen. Carnegie Museum of Art announces the upcoming season of The Art Connection. The museum's program for nurturing young artistic talent now in its 85th year. The Art Connection is a two semester course for kids in grades 5 through 9 offered on Saturdays in the fall and spring. In the proud tradition of alumni like artist Andy Warhol, Dwayne Michaels, and Philip Perlston, students will have the opportunity to show their work in an annual spring e exhibit. This year offers special opportunities for its students, set against the backdrop of the 2013 Carnegie International. Skilled instructors provide students with a foundation for experimentation, creativity, skill building, artistic and personal growth, and success in the museum and beyond. For more information, please visit the address on your screen. Unsung met Majestic at a recent event and we knew right away that we would want to hear his story. Juice of 412 is a social enterprise juice company started over a year ago by about five folks uh, just looking at the lack of juice opportunities in the Pittsburgh area. We became more aware that there are certain nutrients that you get out of juicing that you don't get out of eating solid food. And so we would drink all this juice and have all this energy when we were in New York. When we came back to Pittsburgh, there was nothing like that. There was nowhere to really get it. Well, when you look at health disparities and you look at the costs and even some of the, the discussions around Obamacare and, and the care, uh, medical care, it's real important to look at people's health and, and we look at communities that have a history of health disparities that are being impacted by things like diabetes, cancer, heart disease. And we think that a, a, an idea to engage a community around healthy alternatives in a way that's relevant to them and also in a cost that's effective to them is a very important discussion. But the, the importance of pure juicing is that what you're doing is you're taking an apple, putting it in, seeing exactly what happened to it. There's nothing added, you know, no preservatives. At a cellular level, it begins to rebuild your cells and your tissue. And a lot of our sicknesses in our body come from things happening in tissues. It's juice that day and you can drink it that day. So it's kind of the simplest way to get all the nutrition. You know what you're getting and it's, it's not costing you extra. Well, what we do is a lot of community outreach. We engage with a lot of nonprofit organizations, schools, and, and different community-based organizations to really engage and talk about juicing and health and put a different face on it. Uh, all too often in, in certain communities, juicing and health and wellness is looked at with a, through a race and a class lens. 
So what we're trying to do is eradicate and erase that race and class lens and bring juice and health and wellness in a relevant way and engage folks as a member of the community for those communities and say that we can do better, we can be healthy, and we can be around longer for our children. Perfect. The experience of response has been great. We started out uh, last summer during the farmer's market season by the firehouse farmer's market and we had a great response. Folks really gravitated towards it. We really tried to be engaging around it and just the demand and the interest caused us to see how we could expand and co-locate in this new establishment to Livermore that was opened by Bar Marco a couple weeks ago. So it's been great. We've been engaged. Social media has been great. We've done a real good job of outreach and folks are really responding back and just non-traditional folks aligned, have aligned with this that you wouldn't necessarily think are interested in juicing, but they've really engaged it and taken to it and we want to continue to expand that. One of the things that we've really started to engage people on is, is it good or is it good for you? And so our goal is to make sure that our juices are delicious and nutritious, so they should be good and good for you. And pretty much across the board, as many things in your life as possible should be good and good for you, instead of just being good because you like it. We're doing a couple of things. One, our address is 124 South Highland. Uh, we're co-located co again with Delivermore. Um, and we're open from Wednesday to Saturday, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. So anytime during that time, please come on in. Also, people can look at for us on Twitter and Facebook. You can find us at uh, JuiceUp412 on Facebook. Find us, uh, hashtag JuiceUp412 on Twitter. You can check us out there. We're looking to engage people. We're going to be doing a lot of events in the next couple of months and just continue to uh, engage people and be juice evangelists. We are actually working on um, a small film piece in collaboration with a grant that we got from Austin Pittsburgh. So uh, we'll be working on that to kind of show a little bit more about our angle of, of juice and why juicing is important, especially to address the fact that there are food deserts in Pittsburgh. There are large areas where it's difficult for people to find fresh produce, to find you know, some hearty fruits and vegetables that's not canned and preserved and extra salty and all those types of things. So start juicing at home. You know, this is open source. This is not about, we don't, you know, wherever you can find juice, start juicing, get healthy. It's, it's not just about us. It's about a, the larger community and how we can engage the larger community. But we affirm wherever you can do it, however you can do it, share it with children, share it with your family, share it with members of your family that may be sick or may not be sick, because we're talking about preventative care, not responsive care. So I want to thank Pittsburgh Paragliding for hosting the Unsung Team today and taking us up in this beautiful city. And while I was up there, it was a beautiful time to reflect on just how gorgeous our area is and how wonderful this city is. And that's why it got its destination as most livable. But then I thought, after I reflect and I come back down, what I want you to think about is how can we make it even better? How can we make this city greater? It's things like Pittsburgh paragliding that are creative ways to get out and enjoy the city. And there's a lot of new things happening in the city. And I want your ideas too. This is a city where you can launch an idea and really see it happen. So share your creativity, share your talent, help another, help others enjoy this city better and then it will be truly, truly most livable. And the last thing I'd like to leave you with is when this opportunity came about, I jumped on it. Yeah, I'd love to get up in the air out on the river. Didn't even know it was possible. So when opportunities are out there, take advantage of them. Enjoy this city. It really is the most livable city in the world. September is library card sign up month. Visit your local library and see all that it has to offer. Find your Pittsburgh area library at carnegielibrary.org. Parking Day is an annual one-day international event in which citizens collaborate to temporarily transform parking spots into park spaces. Make sure to take the time out of your day on Friday 
September 20th to visit one of the many new parks along the streets of Pittsburgh. For more information, check out parkingdaypgh.org. Friday, October 4th, get your twang on with an evening of country music and bluegrass for Pittsburgh Cares' 21st birthday. The doors open at 6, the music starts at 7 at the Lawrenceville Moose. Tickets are $10 pre-sale, $15 at the door. For more information, boot, scoot, and boogie your way over to the address on the screen. You might have recognized story tags and Twitter handles after our stories. We invite you to continue the conversation by tagging the nonprofit or using the story tag on Twitter. You can also get in touch with us on Twitter, at PGH on video, or hashtag UnsungPGH. Check out previous episodes and our Unsung Uncut series on PittsburghOnVideo.org, as well as video and audio versions on iTunes and YouTube. Do you have a nonprofit that you think is cool? Let us know why, and you might find yourself here on Unsung. You can email your ideas to Christopher at WhitlatchC at PGHFDN.org. As always, thank you for watching Unsung. Be sure to share it with your friends. I've been your host, Anthony Walker, reminding you to keep it awesome, Pittsburgh. We'll see you next time. So I said I'ma crush it. Call me the golden boy, cause it shine whenever I touch it. Don't rush it, the flow comes naturally. Actually, the whole hood after me. Master